Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. The seven star terror raid event for Samurott is now live in Scarlet and Violet. We're gonna go over all the details as well as the best build to solo this with in your game. So you can tell I am not in our usual location. I'm actually out in Poland this weekend at Gdansk for the regional championships, which is happening Saturday and Sunday. So we are doing a little bit different. I'm trying to make do with everything that we've got out here, but the seven star Hisu in Samurai event is now live and we have done our testing process as usual. And we'll cover all of the details of the event. It will be running from this weekend as I'm recording this video from the 24th until the 26th for the first phase in November. And and then it will return again the following weekend from December the 1st until the 3rd for its second phase. So you've got two opportunities to take part in this event and grab it while the opportunity is there. It is going to be level 100. It will have its hidden ability, the sharpness ability, and the moves it will have are going to be Ceaseless Edge, Razor Shell, X Scissor, Sacred Sword, and additional moves it will have are going to be Sword Stance, Focus Energy, and Bulldoze. It will have the Mightiest Mark, of course. It can never be shiny, and it will be the Water terror type as well and of course as always with these seven star terror raid events it can only be called once per save file and then we go down and you can see the first time you catch this the base item drops are going to be a guaranteed chance of an ability patch tms water terror shards and a bunch of XL candies along with the proteins as well. Then if you repeat this event, you're gonna get the chance to get all of these other good high cost items along with ability capsules, ability patches, then the PP ups and everything else that you can see on the screen right now. But like I say, as I record in this video, the event is now live from the 24th to the 26th for its first phase. So we'll jump over to game now and I'll show you how you can access it in your game. You will need to be connected to the internet and once you are you want to come to your polka portal and then come down to mystery gifts and once you're in mystery gifts come down to check polka portal news and this will connect you to the internet and it'll update all of the dens in Paldea. if you've got the dlc it won't be appearing in kitakami it will just be in Paldea. and then you can open your map and you can locate the den and head over to it so once you're over at the den we'll jump into the builds now we're going to start off with two that are really effective for this raid in general and two that were previewed in a preview article for this event the first one is going to be Maraidon, probably the quickest out of everything that we featured and tested and then we'll follow up with the Golgot as well. As always, the builds will be down in the description below if you want to check them out after the video uh, for a closer look at all of the details. But Maraidon going to be electric terror type. It will be level 100. And the only thing that's changed from the preview article to this one is going to be the held item. And it is going to be the metronome, which is going to be more useful in this particular raid. Just to run through it a bit quicker with a move set of metal sound reflect calm mind and parabolic charge it's going to have the ev spread of 252 in hp 252 in special attack and then the rest put in defense with that hadron engine ability and then that is going to be the maraidon we'll jump into the raid in a moment i'll show you how quick it can be and effective at soloing this very quickly in your game and the second build is going to be the first pokemon that we jumped into this raid with and successfully beat it and it is going to be the golgo so it's going to have the grass terror type it's going to have the held item the terrain extender it's going to be level 100 of course with the uh, hyper train and things like that and obviously the move set is going to be grassy terrain bulk up tail whip and horn leech with an ev spread of 252 hp 252 defense and the rest put an attack with an adamant nature and the big important thing here with the gogot is going to be the hidden ability grass pelt which gives you a 50 percent boost to your defense stat as long as the grassy terrain is on the field and with the terrain extender that you've got as your held item it is going to mean that you're going to have eight turns of grassy terrain rather than your five once you've used that grassy terrain and the basic premise is going to be getting the grassy terrain up turn one then going for a couple of bulk ups then you're going to go for those horn leeches until the shield is broken then you can go for more bulk ups after it nullifies your stats on your side of the field after it's nullified the stat drops on its side of the field you can even drop some tail whips there but primarily you just want to make sure that the grassy terrain is set up once it does go from the field uh, so you keep that intact you keep that grass pelt ability intact and that defense boost 
active and then just spam the horn leech until you beat the samurai and it is really quite easy with the gold god but a very effective strategy nonetheless but like we mentioned the maraidon is probably the more effective out of the two so we'll jump into the raid now and i'll show you how effective it can be it's soloing this samurai very quickly so once you jump into the raid the hisuian samurai is going to set up a sword stance before anything else on turn zero before the uh, the the raid even begins so it will be boosting it attack power will be hitting a little bit harder but to kind of combat that we are going to go for a reflect so you can see the the electric terrain set up with a hadron engine ability here from the maraidon that's going to boost our electric type attacks and there is the sword stance from that hisuian samurai like i said to combat that on turn one we're going to click in with that reflect that's just going to mean that we're going to be able to take attacks a lot better during this initial setup here as we see the ceaseless edge and this will be followed up by a bulldoze now if you get lucky here ceaseless edge might miss like it does for us um, and we only take the bulldoze damage which is really great that's not always going to happen you're normally going to take a good chunk of damage from that ceaseless edge followed by the the, the bulldoze but we're in a way better position than we would normally be second turn you're going to concentrate and go on for that metal sound because we're going to try and reduce that special defense on the hisuian samurai to two minus four because that's all we're really going to be able to get so after that turn three it will set its shield up no matter what happens so we'll get that second metal sound off this turn just bear in mind metal sound does have some drawbacks it isn't the most accurate of attacks it can miss so there might be sometimes when you go onto the raid you do click it and it doesn't actually connect which is Pretty annoying for the most part, but just bear in mind that it can work even if you don't get it down to minus four. But minus four feels like after the reflect is the best case scenario now. You can see after turn three, it is gonna get that shield up. Now all we're gonna do is concentrate on getting these parabolic charges off, getting to the point where we can terrestrialize. It's gonna nullify the stats on our side of the field, but we haven't really got any here. And you can see that it does get the jump on us here. Sometimes it might not, but sometimes it will like in this situation and it will knock you out. So this happens, don't worry about it at all. This is super fun and just wait for the countdown to kind of go away and you come back onto the field and like i said before we're going to do the same thing we're going to concentrate on ticking down our terrestrialization clock till we can terrestrialize so we'll just spam parabolic charge we've got the samurai down to minus four special defense now so we should be doing decent damage um, and that will just help us kind of chip away at it it'll take down our terrestrialization counter and keep us healthy throughout this setup so we just really want to get to the point where we can terrestrialize and really from now until the end of the raid you can just spam the parabolic charge it is pretty much that easy because the metronome going to kick into effect will max out after you've used five parabolic charges in a row and it means that the damage is not going to increase any further but on top of that you're going to be able to terrestrialize and really maximize your damage here so you can see another the parabolic charge the electric terrain has left the field but we should be able to kind of heal back all of the damage done already and kind of keep us in that kind of healthy position going forward uh samurai if it does get afflicted by any status conditions as well it is going to help you throughout the raid but this is the point that we're getting to where we want to be able to terrestrialize and then just keep clicking that parabolic charge button so here you can see we are partnered by the belly bolt which has got the chance to paralyze the opponent sometimes you might have the drift limb which can use will-o'-wisp before the shield goes up and burn the samurai so that'll help you out as well but sometimes you might not get anything but again this still even if you don't get anything to help you out in this raid it is going to be probably the most consistent pokemon to take into the raid to use but i do feel like the reflect very early on in the raid is quite essential to being able to get those two metal sounds off and see a ceaseless edge coming out here is going to do a lot of damage as well but we're in that position now even after the focus energy that the samurai does set up where we should be able to just kind of keep ourselves as healthy as possible break the shield and then the next uh, parabolic charge after this should be enough to pick up the knockout if not we know that two from this stage is going to be enough so we'll see what the samurai throws out at us next as the shield does break but like i say it is very simple from this point on remember as well that the razor shell once you do terrestrialize uh, you lose that part dragon type in so you're going to be kind of hit for neutral damage from those water type attacks but you can see here we get that next parabolic charge off it takes it down to nearly being knocked out and uh, um 
one of our partner in Pokemon picks up the knockout first, but it is really that simple with this particular build, especially with the metronome there. You don't, you can't really go too wrong. There is going to be RNG throughout where you're going to have partnering Pokemon kind of helping you out or maybe not helping you out. You might get knocked out early on like we did in this one, but you can still see the outcome is pretty effective, pretty easy to solo. And like I say, it's probably one of the best ones to kind of go for the items this weekend when it is running or next weekend if you want to take part in it then. Uh, but once you've beat the raid, as always, if you want to kind of uh, respawn the raid on the map then you just want to hit your home menu come to your system settings down into system then down into date and time make sure your synchronized clock for the internet is off then into date and time don't change anything toggle through hit okay then hit your home menu then back into the game and all your dens should respawn and you can see it pops up just above it there nice and convenient so you can head over to it and just repeat the raid over again for those high cost items and uh continually do it like that but that is going to be the Hisuian Samurai this weekend and that is everything that I wanted to cover in the video so the builds will be down in the description below if you try the go go to definitely let me know I would love to hear how you get on with it but it is an effective build like I say it was one of the first ones that we used going into the event this weekend and it worked perfectly like we kind of thought it would but the Moraidon just feels like a lot quicker of a way to do this and more more effective so that is thankfully worked out and I hope you have a lot of fun uh, using this to get the items farm it this weekend and just have a good time kind of grabbing the Hisuian Samurai while it is active in Scarlet and Violet. Like I say we're in a bit of a different location so it is a little bit odd this weekend doing this video here but I hope you find it useful nonetheless. If you have drop a like, do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in another video very soon and hopefully you can catch some of the uh, action from the Gdansk Regional which will be on the Pokemon YouTube channel and the Pokemon Twitch channel over the weekend. If I'll see you sometime next week for another update on the channel. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.